First oral question, Baroness Heather of Kentish Town. I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. We are writing to NHS England regarding NHS London's social media posts to, reiter to reiterate the expectation that biological sex should be front and centre for all health-related information. Removing language around biological sex has the potential for unintended health consequences. <coughs> The Government is committed to upholding the rights of women and girls, and that is why we are consulting on updates to the NHS Constitution, including using clear language based on biological sex. I very warmly welcome the Minister's res response on that, which I think is probably welcomed across the House. And given the Government's welcome assurance that single-sex wards means biologically single-sex wards, would he also discuss with the GMC the video on their website which advises doctors to ask trans patients which wards they prefer to go in and perhaps talk to the GMC about their practice of allowing doctors to change their gender on the register without any advice that they should inform patients of their biological sex. It's very hard, as I approve of the government saying, that um, patients should be able to ask for a particular sex for intimate care if they don't know the sex of their doctor? Well, I mean, firstly, I'd like to thank the noble lady for all her work in this space and, uh, and uh, <coughs> from my side, continue to work closely um, uh, with, with her, including uh, seeing the GMC, writing and meeting them as, as, as necessary in all these things. Um, exactly on the point, you know, while I respect that many clinicians may wish to keep their... their um, their, their information private, what we've got to understand is for many people it's a patient right to be able to be treated by someone of um, a particular biological sex and to be able to know that and I think we have to make sure that those feelings and understandable sensitivities and sometimes religious sensitivities are, are, are catered for.